something struck me when I was well, not struck, not nothing struck me. I haven't been hit. Something occurred to me when I was looking at the speculation about Jared Bowen and Liverpool. I sort of did. I covered it slightly yesterday, didn't I? It wasn't the fact that I thought necessarily that Liverpool would buy him or Liverpool were interested, but I didn't dismiss it out of hand. Reason being is because Jared Bowen is um, is a good player, playing very very well for West Ham. There was one part of the story though that I did dismiss completely out of hand, and that is that Liverpool might pay £20 million for Jared Bowen. Um, it just seemed a ridiculous figure at the time. Why? Why? Well, firstly, he'd cost more than that, but why would West Ham accept a figure that they've paid for him? Now, that seems quite a reasonable thing to say, right? We bought him for £20 million. He's been a good player. He's improved. Why would we only sell him for £20 million? It, it, it sounds reasonable, and it sounds right. But that's not what we've been doing. This is not what's happened up to now. Hence the reason for this video and, and the reason I've not made the title yet. But how have we got it so wrong for so long or something something like that? Because I thought I'd go and check it out. And there's some names that have popped up which had sort of... It's not like I've forgotten they played for West Ham. But when I look at it and I look at the deals and I look at the amount spent and I look at the money lost, and I'll chuck a name at you now before I start listing them. Chicharito, for example. I think, how did we lose such a vast sum of money? And and we did. Albeit not massively on the transfer fee on that one. Ha, we only lost £10 million in the transfer fee on that deal. But we probably lost closer to £20 million on the wages. Basically, the phrase hemorrhage in money would absolutely apply to West Ham. And we've just got so much better at it. There's room for improvement. David Moyes will tell you there's room for improvement. Uh, the fact that we've gone and got a new director of recruitment, whatever it might be called. The fact that the scouting department are still recruiting. The fact that it's, there's having an overhaul. The fact that we now have a not just a video analyst to analyse the opposition matches for tactics. We have a video analyst to assess players. In essence, to give David Moyes and his coaching staff a dossier on a player. A video dossier. We're basically, we're improving. We're not there yet. However, the improvement already has been stark. And I, I go back to the Jared Bowen one, which is, of course, Jared Bowen was a player. This should be simple, right? The, the premise behind this is simple. This is how it should be done. You scout a player. You identify potential. You buy at the right age. And then they improve. Then one of two things should happen. You either have a better player on your hands, a good player in your team. Or maybe he's improved so much, he might even outgrow your team. If you've done your homework right, if you've purchased correctly, then when you go and sell him, you sell him on for a, a vast profit. I, I offer the example, not I want to sell him, of Thomas Suchek. Were we to sell Thomas Suchek now, we'd make tens of millions on him. Don't want to, none of us want to, but we'd make a mint. But there's been some horror stories, by the way. Looking back, not a particularly long time, okay? What I mean is this, this is 2017-2018. I mean, I could go back longer, but I just want to show how, highlight how much it's changed in recent years. We signed Marco Anatovic for £20 million for Stoke. Now, granted, we got our £20 million back from China. Somewhere just, well, it's just China. China gave us our money back. But, but, considering how good he'd been, how good David Moyes made him, it really, we really should have been in a situation to make money on that. But we didn't hemorrhage a load of money. The one underneath, which was Chicharito for £16 million, we sold him for six. It was on nearly £140,000 a week. It was just a bad signing. Some of them we, we got all right. You have to say Zabaleta on a free was absolutely fine. Was 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 fine. He, he came in, he did a job. But you look at the players who were coming in at this point. Haksabanovic is a good one. Haksabanovic cost £3.2 million. We just lost the money. Joe Hart. We paid two and a half million on a loan fee for Joe Hart. And I'm not even going into what we paid for Gokhan Torre, what we paid for, uh, what was, I forget the guy's name, uh, Zaza. The massive, massive fees. We were just losing money, hand over fist, right? And now you look at the, now you look at the players that are coming in, every single one, it seems, 
Seems to appreciate him value. Look, we don't know what's going to happen with Vlasic yet. Okay, now we get to the... And this this is painful reading, by the way. Now we get to the Husselos years, if you like. Before I do, may I point you in the direction of the One Football app, downloadable by clicking the link below under the screen. There's some text in it. There's a link to the One Football app. Click it, download it to your mobile device. Now know you've come from Hammers Chat, but more importantly, it's a very very good app. Has all you has all your Premier League news, all your international news, Champions League, all all the stuff. But if you don't want any of that, it just asks you who you support. You click on West Ham and it. All the West Ham news together for you. The app is free. Not asking you to spend a single penny on it. Uh, if you don't like it, you can even delete it. But it's very, very good. Us at Amazon Chat use it all the time. Even when they're not sponsoring us, we use it. Um, so one football app. Go on. Check it out, so to speak. Um, let's get back to these um, horrendous players. Uh, sorry, I say horrendous players. Billy Pay Anderson. £34 million. Um, we basically just let him go. By waiving the final instalment, realistically, he co he cost us thirty million pounds plus the wages when he was at the club. We we offset the wages for a season uh, for Porto, but by and large, again, he's cost us overall. I think that's cost West Ham fifty million. Now, I just want to put this into context. West Ham's turnover, forget COVID, right? Because it's it's an anomaly. West Ham's turnover is usually about one hundred eighty, one hundred ninety million. That's when things are going right. To lose 50 million. I mean, that's really bad, right? And I'm talking about wages, and I'm talking about, you know, obviously the fee as well. It's a Diop we brought in. Look, we, we bought it's a Diop for 23 million pounds. Um, I think the jury's still open on that one, to be fair. I don't think we're, I don't think we're losing loads of money on it's a Diop. I think he's still a good player. I think the potential's still there. Um, and I, I do actually believe that he could come good. And you know what? If it's a Diop had a really, really good season, I think it'd be worth sort of twenty million pound again. Um, so uh, we, you know, well, that, that's that's okay. They're not all horrendous, but that was probably the one where you looked at. And we bought him when he was twenty one. He was the he was a captain of Toulouse. Um, so I think he was captain of Toulouse when he was nineteen. We bought a young player who was going to improve. That was the right thing to do. Yarmolenko cost eighteen million pound. He was. At certain times, our highest earner. It was just a load of money being lost. If you add his wages in, the fact we won't get any money back. And you look at actually what he's done for West Ham. He hasn't scored loads and loads of goals. He hasn't won us loads of matches. Again, it looks like he's going to cost us about £45 million. I, I, again, I remind you, our turnover is £190 million a year when things are good. Yarmolenko's cost us about £40 million in wages and lost transfer fees. But transfer fees we'll never get back. We're already we're already basically at half. Just with Anderson, Yarmolenko, already cost us half of the money we make all season. And that's not even profit, by the way. That's turnover. Um, Fabianski, you've got to say, was a good deal at £7 million. You know, well done. But Perez, we bought Perez for £4 million from Arsenal. Balbuena was a good signing, it has to be said. We didn't get a fee for him. He went on a free. But he only cost us three point six. That's fine. Then you look at the Jack Wilshere one. Jack Wilshere cost us was uh, the trade descriptions act here. It says he was free. He wasn't free. Cost us millions, tens of millions to pay him off. Carlos Sanchez, a ridiculous sign, was on seventy five grand a week for two years. Massive, massive money. And you start to look at the players we bring in, and you look at someone. I mean, I'd, funny. I'd like to. Maybe I'd like to say to um, David Moyes, what happened with, with Hugo there? Because that, that, that was, a, again, that was a bit of an anomaly. Not within keeping with how David Moyes normally signs players. Um, but again, it was, what are we saying for? Two, we lost seven million on him. It's just a massive amount of money to lose. And then it doesn't get an awful lot better. Because then you go to the next season, you've got the really big one, which is Sebastian Haller. It's a massive amount of money to lose. An absolutely massive amount of money. Again, massive hemorrhage in the money. Fortunately, and here's the point. So all of those players, and a lot of them before, were just losing money. Oh, a jetty. We paid £10 million for Basel for a jetty. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. However... Put that to one side. Look at it now. Souffal. 
what was he, 4 million, 5 million? We're going to get a lot of money back from him. But do you know what? You've got a Balbuena situation. You don't want to sell him. If somebody came in, you'd, they'd have to pay you big bucks for him. But that's how right back sorted out. Was he 28, 29? That's how right back sorted out for the next four or five years. Zuma is, again, if things didn't work out with Zuma, we'd be able to get our money back straight away. He's the, the right age. He's the right age. Bowen, we've discussed, only getting better. Really good signing. And again, you start to look at Ben Rama as well. That's now starting to come good. Would we get our money back for Ben Rama? Absolutely. I think you'd probably get, at the moment, look, if Ben Rama finishes the season as he started it, I think he's cost us 24 million. I think you're looking at a 35, 40 million pound player. And we're not paying these guys massive wages like we were with some of the other guys, like Halle, like with Yarmolenko, like with Felipe Anderson. And what we're doing by bringing these players through and bringing these players on is, 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 all, is insulating West Ham financially from a club that hemorrhages money to one that actually can start to make some money. We don't want to sell him. Suchek's the big one. He really is in this. Um, I don't know. I, I don't. I was going to say I don't want to put a price tag on. He said, who's listening to this? No one's going to take my word for it. So I think we can talk about it quite freely without thinking Suchek is going to be sold. Um, we bought him. I think we, we bought him. We, okay, we, we paid a loan fee of four million for him. And I think we signed him permanently for 13. So that's 17 million he's cost us. You wouldn't get him for 50 million. You just wouldn't. You'd probably have to pay 50, 60 million, something like that, for Thomas Suchek. It's a massive increase. Massively better. Jared Bowen, as we've discussed, we bought him for 19 million. Um, uh, look, look, I'm, I'm not suggesting that Jared Bowen is now a 70 million pound player, but you'd have to think you'd get 30 for him. And this is it. There's a massive difference between losing 10 million on a player and making 10 million on a player. Um, so well done, West Ham. I, I, you know, well done. Uh, I do think, you know, it's, look, we've had to suffer a long time of doing it really, really badly. And if I go back further than whatever it was, 2017, then you go back years before that, it, it looks even worse. It's really bad. Really, really bad that it's taken us this long to get it right. But um, David Sullivan's moved aside. He's leaving it to, to David Moyes to, to drive this cup forward. And I'm really, really pleased about it, you know. Um, and I think we're in just really, really safe hands. So uh, I look forward to us buying more players. Um, because I think, by and large, you'll get the odd one wrong. But I think, by and large, they'll increase in value. And those that don't will be offset by the ones that increase in value. we just got to make sure that next January, there's a nice little cheeky little striker, 28-year-old striker at Preston, saying he'd love to walk out to the bubbles. I'm just going to say to Moisey, Moisey. Forget that. Get back on track. Go to the Czech Republic and buy yourself another plane.